So last year I made a video with this, my first guitar, to see if it was as bad as I remember. But this year I figured let's take it up a notch. Let's take my first guitar, my first amp and my first pedal to see what my first full rig sounded like. I haven't seen or played these together in about 15 years since I was a kid. So does it sound any good or is it as bad as I remember? Stick around until the end of the video, I'll let you know about all the good, the bad and the ugly stuff. So my first guitar, my first amp, and my first pedal. How bad could it be, right? Well, actually, I'm very pleasantly surprised. I don't think that sounded too bad at all. So, the good stuff. The amp actually has a ton of gain, and dialing in a tone was actually super easy, although I wouldn't recommend using these settings on your Axe Effects or Kemper. And the guitar is pretty solid too, considering it's just a cheap Strat copy with marker pen and stickers on it. Check out the previous video where I go into more detail about it. So how about the bad stuff? Okay so I didn't expect the amp to sound like a big old Marshall stack but having said that it still sounds quite small. Also even with most of the mids dialed out I still had to do a bunch of extra work in the mix to dial out a sizable chunk of mid frequencies. Also this pedal has six wires built in but honestly I only find one or two of them that usable. But it is styled to look a bit like a car. So the ugly stuff. Everyone says that the worst distortion pedal in the world is the Boss Metal Zone. But, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you truly the worst distortion pedal the world has ever tolerated. Believe it or not, that is the built-in distortion effect on this Dano Electro wah pedal, and it's truly bloody awful. It was so bad, in fact, I didn't even attempt to use it on the song, because no matter how you use it, it turns even the best tone into completely unusable garbage. Just for last, though, if you want to see me make a video using that distortion, let me know in the comments below. So all in all, except for the distortion effect, that wasn't too bad. In fact, it was a lot better than I remember it being. Let me know in the comments below your first guitar, your first amp, and your first pedal, and do you still have them? Perhaps you could dig them up like I did and be surprised by how good they are. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you want to see more of my videos, please hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit that notifications bell. Also, if you want to support what I do, consider checking out my Patreon where you can get tabs and backing tracks and extras like audio stems for all of my videos. Thanks for watching, everybody. Until next time, my name is Pete, and I play music.